Hey there, Daryl Ng from Western Style Martial Arts and Slim Fit Trim Health and Fitness. Thanks again for watching another one of my workout videos and I hope you find them really, really helpful. Anyway, so have you ever wondered what the Bruce Lee Jun Fan JKD School Conditioning Workout is? I'm gonna show you how to do that today, or at least give you an introduction. Um, this was developed about the early 70s with Sifu Roy Hollingsworth and Sifu Taki Kimura. And this is a workout that we still do to this very, very day to keep fit, have uh, strength and conditioning, um, and lots of core workouts. So come with me and we'll start this workout. I'll show you how it's done, thanks. So when we first started out and we were beginning class, with Sifu Taki Kimura, we'd start off with the salutation that showed our respect to Sifu. So we'd come out, open up, and do our bow. And that's our first part of just respect. Okay, next part. Now, let's start our, with our wrist exercises and just bring your arms out and bring them up and down. Just up and down. This has uh, been a really, really good part of the exercise because you're always gonna have to work on um, wrist locks and whatnot, and I think this also helps kind of leave carpal tunnel. So we just started off with a slight warm up here. Okay, then in and out. Okay, now palms together, up and down from the ceiling to the floor. This move in particular is very, very helpful when you do a Fuk Sao move. And that starts to loosen up your wrist. Next thing we do is what we call a wrist rotation. And what happens is you come up, you see how I keep my elbow in, the wrist comes out and back down. And this one rotates just like that. Because this is actually another move that you would learn how to use for a block, some sort of parry, or even what we call a, a jutsal later on, which is a pulling action when you grab someone's arm to pull towards you. Now, it doesn't get all flowery and come out past the body. This looks great in the movies, but for real life, we just wanna work on this move right here. Now, the other thing you've noticed I'm kind of in a horse stance, not really. Now, if I want to do this absolutely correct, you would get into the horse stance, toes out, bring your heels out, sink down, keep this relaxed, bring your torso in a bit so your tailbone sinks down, and here we continue on. Just loosen that up. All right, that's great. Now, let's loosen up the shoulders. Very good. Okay, now, feet just about shoulder width apart. Next thing we're gonna do, just hands out, waist turns, loosen up the waist. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That's awesome. Okay, now we would actually do kind of like a windmill bent over. I wanna show you that the back is straight. We're not gonna arch up the back. So again, what you're doing is you're keeping the back straight. And a good way to help do that is to look up towards the ceiling, okay? Now, the next part of this, is one hand will be down at the floor. Next hand is here at a 90 degree position. Notice my palm is facing up. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate back and forth. 
just like that. All right, ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Good job. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. All right, that was awesome. All right, now time for sit-ups again. Let's make sure we do those correctly. Make sure your core is engaged and you don't go past 45 degrees when you come up. Keep your uh, posture again nice and straight. Don't be arching your back. Don't pull on, your, on the back of your head. Again, you can either bring your hands, touch your ears, or like I mentioned to you, I like to keep this in, in my kind of boxing uh, protection uh, uh, position and then I'll do a twist as I come up, okay? <clears throat> Make sure your knees are bent. Remember, Yube is ready in Cantonese. Yube, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. You're doing great. One, two, three. Just do quality. And remember, I don't want you to do all these. Just do as many as you can. Nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 50. Whew, even I get a little winded on that one. Also, just me personally, I like doing the sit-up type exercises more than kind of crunchless core workouts. It just gives me a little bit more intensity these days, but um, I will actually combine with different types of exercises. I will work on crunchless core. Sometimes I'll just even work on little leg flutters, do V-ups, um, that sort of thing. So you can see, we'll, we can vary the workout. All right, so the next exercise is actually a hamstring stretch. And we would do this as a dynamic stretch. We call it a four point exercise. We're actually gonna go to the left knee, to the front, to the right knee, and back. Now we traditionally count this off in Cantonese. One, two, three, it would be yet ye som. So legs are gonna be a bit shoulder width apart. Are you ready? And here we go. Left, yet ye som. Front, yet ye som. Right. Yet ye some back, yet ye some left, yet ye some front, yet ye some right, yet ye some back, yet ye some left, yet ye some front, yet ye some right, yet ye some back, yet ye some left, yet ye some front, yet ye some right, yet ye some back, yet ye some and left, yet ye some. All right, so now the next part of these exercises, we would do some isometrics. And what we would do, first one is, we're gonna go ahead, clasp your fingers together. Let's go ahead and get in that horse stance again, the Yi Ji Kim Young Ma, okay? And what we're gonna do is, you're gonna bring your hands right at belly level, bring them just about an inch away from your belly, and you pull. And we would just go ahead and hold this for about 30 seconds. Just pulling, pulling, pulling. Now don't collapse your elbows in towards your sides. Keep them out, because you're really working on your deltoid muscles here as you're just pulling, 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 pulling. Okay, so we just keep doing this. All righty, and then I'm looking at the clock. 
Let's switch. Go ahead and again, pull. Just keep this for about 30 seconds. That's good. And then just breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Nice and easy. Keep pulling. Very good. Okay, now we bring it up to eye level. Just switch back. Keep your elbows parallel to the floor. We're going to work on our breathing at the same time. Again, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Nice, easy, steady, slow breathing. Also, you want to feel your breath here in your sternum. All right, get ready. Here we go. Make sure you keep those elbows parallel. Don't let them drop. This is actually a little bit harder than it looks. Also, your quads, they might start to burn right now, especially as you keep, keep them sunk. Also, make sure your tailbone is kind of sunk down. All right, let's cross back over. Also, make sure that your knees are not really jutting past your toes. You should be just almost parallel. Breathe. Very good. Okay, go ahead. Just roll out and shake those shoulders for a second. So normally I would stay in this position here. Let me just show you though what we're gonna do. Now you're gonna do that isometric exercise behind your back, right here about the small of your back, okay? Get back into that same position of the horse stance and you're gonna go ahead and pull. And again, we're doing this isometric exercise. Just keep breathing. Nice and easy. Feel that burn in your quad. All right, let's get ready and switch. Okay, go ahead and relax. Stretch that back out again, roll your shoulders. Let's get back into that horse stance. Okay, make sure that your back, your lower spine, everything's relaxed, but you're standing straight, good posture. Okay, now we're gonna be in a prayer position. Again, elbows parallel to the floor. And go ahead and just push. Push the heels uh, of your palms together. I like to also push with my fingertips. <clears throat> Don't crunch up your uh, deltoids here. Just keep them nice and relaxed. Okay, now, see how my hands just rotate forward? And it's continuing to push in. My elbows are still parallel to the floor. Very good. Okay, now you can stand straight up, feet together. Roll your shoulders back. Now, just reach straight down to the floor. Just reach, 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 reach. And 
just get those fingertips to stretch and touch the floor. Just pull down. This is pretty amazing when you think that uh, Bruce Lee was way ahead of his time with all these exercises and conditioning. Okay, now arms come out. Now reach to the sides. Just keep reaching, reaching, reaching. Stretch out those muscles. Just go for the walls with your fingers. Keep breathing nice and easy. All right, now up to the ceiling. Same thing. Stay nice and tall and just reach up to the ceiling. Keep stretching, stretching, stretching. Doing a great job. Okay, now come across. Just doesn't matter if it's right over left, left over right. And then reach across and to the floor. Just keep reaching. Make sure you're breathing nice and easy. This is kind of our little bit of cool down portion before we start back up again. All right, and the last part, coming across, and then you just reach actually back this way, just reach to the floor. Okay, we're gonna get ready to start doing leg lifts now. We're gonna be getting back on our mat. <clears throat> All right, let's relax, shake it out for a second. Okay, we're gonna get back on the mat and we're gonna do leg lifts now. <clears throat> now, if you are having back issues and it's hard for you to do the sit-ups or, or the leg lifts, um, again, just go at your own pace. The main thing is making sure that you do this with um, quality, not quantity. So if you can only do two or three good sit-ups, two or three good leg lifts, two or three good push-ups. That's all you need to do. Make sure that it's quality and not quantity because you'll be able to build up the quantity as you get stronger and better at it, okay? Now, to protect the spine, your hands will be underneath your tailbone, okay? Now, as you can see, let me come up on the mat a little bit. <clears throat> My hands are along my, oh, excuse me. So now my hands are along my spine and we're gonna come up and do leg lifts. Keep the knees slightly bent and you're gonna come up, legs spread out, bring them back and come right back down. I don't mind if you actually just touch your heel to the floor before you come back up, but don't just sit there and let it rest, okay? Are you ready? And one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, th 20, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
40, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 50. All right. <laughs> That's a great job, you guys. I'm glad you're able to keep up. All right, now we're gonna go ahead, stretch out our groin muscles a little bit, legs together, heels together. Go ahead and just try to bring your heels as close in as possible and just bring your knees down close to the floor and we'll just go ahead and stretch that out. You can also do a little bit of a dynamic stretch if you'd like or a little bit of the static stretch now keep in mind this is what we would do during class and so at home we would be expected to be able to work out and do more stretching and working out at home so that way when you come to class you're actually in really good condition all right <clears throat> Okay, so next part of that, if you have a partner, we usually end up doing our uh, groin stretches with a partner who had have, actually have their feet here and we would be pulling each other back and forth. Otherwise, I work on my groin stretches just by coming out. Now, I started working on this again about a year ago. There was a point where I was actually about right here. And I only do these stretches maybe about once or twice um, every other week, actually. I'm not completely consistent upon it, on that. <clears throat> so, this is where I've gotten in a year. And I usually hold this for actually about 20 minutes, but for the sake of this video and our little class, it's just gonna be short. <laughs> keep that stretch going. Feel it there, just keep that stretch going. And then, as I touch my elbows down to the mat, come back up. Okay, so I want you to work on this on your own. Um, okay, that's great. Bring those legs back in. Okay, now. We're gonna do jumbo kicks. Now, those kicks are kicks that come straight up and you come across. So the right leg is gonna to actually touch the left hand and the left hand is, or the right hand is gonna to touch uh, the left leg, okay? So as you come up to kick, it's straight up. Now, a lot of people, if you're not flexible, that's okay. You keep your hand down here, you can kick to there, okay? Um, but don't pull your muscles by trying to kick up high if you can't do it. Work up to it, all right? So when we kick, it's up high, okay? Ready? And one, two, maintain your balance. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Other leg, ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, that was a great job. All right, now time for sit ups again. Let's make sure we do those correctly. Make sure your core is engaged and you don't go past 45 degrees when you come up. Keep your uh, posture, again, nice and straight. Don't be arching your back. Don't pull on, your, on the back of your head. Again, you can either bring your hands, touch your ears, 
or like I mentioned to you, I like to keep this in, in my kind of boxing uh, protection uh, 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 position and then I'll do a twist as I come up, okay? <clears throat> Make sure your knees are bent. Remember, Yube is ready in Cantonese. Yube, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. You're doing great. One, two, three. Just do quality. And remember, I don't want you to do all these. Just do as many as you can. Nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and fifty. All right, you guys have been great following on the workout. The next part is just a little bit of a cool down again, and this is a breathing exercise. Um, this one's called an owl pose. It comes from actually one of the eight brocades of a Qigong breathing exercise. And the way that you execute this properly is that your arms will be out a little bit away from your sides. Your hands are gonna be facing outwards. And what you'll do is you're actually gonna be pulling your arms back so your scapula is trying to touch one another, chest is out. But remember, I'm gonna keep my pose, my posture, very, very straight and good. Um, again, the tailbone is sunk down. We're more relaxed during this breathing exercise and just follow along and you'll see exactly how this is done, okay? So you get ready and you're gonna inhale slowly through your nose and you'll be exhaling slowly through your mouth. All right, so shoulder width apart and get ready, here we go. Breathe in, pull your shoulders back, touch your scapula. Slowly exhale through your mouth. Notice that I just start to relax, but I don't go crumpling, I just relax. Okay, next one, and then we're gonna turn our head to the left this time. Right, that was great. Um, I'll probably make another video down the road and I'll show you guys what the eight brocades are. <clears throat> this next one now is part of the little idea, the Sulim Tao, which is the first form of, of uh, Wing Chun. And this helps to work on your form, 
Uh, this is also a breathing exercise and um, just follow along as I show you how to keep your elbow into your center line to protect and also this tonsil hand, it's gonna be in this good position right here. There's a big difference when your elbow's out versus your elbow's in. Now, a lot of people, especially men, and if they're really muscular, they have a tough time even touching their elbows together to protect the center line of their body. They're usually out here and they can't uh, um, bring it in. It takes time to get the uh, deltoids stretched out and have that kind of flexibility that you need. So anyway, make sure again, we're gonna get back into our Yi Ji Kim Young Ma, the horse stance, and then sink down. Be in proper position. Make sure your pelvic bone is not tucked back, not too far forward, just in a nice neutral position. So you're nice and relaxed. Toes are kind of pigeon toed. See that uh, my knees are not past my toes, almost in line. And I got good straight posture again. Get back into a horse stance, all right? And the first part of this, as we start to Bring our left hand out. See how I come into my center line? Breathe out. Notice the elbow doesn't come out here. It stays right in the center. Now, pretend you have a string in your chest and you're just pulling that string straight out. Right hand, come into the center line, bring your elbow in. Very good. All right, next is the four point exercise. Remember, we're gonna to be touching our right, uh, left knee, front, right knee, and back, and we're gonna rotate a few times. Wanna make sure that you keep your legs straight as possible because you're working on uh, stretching out that hamstring. It's gonna be a dynamic stretch, so um, don't bend your knee if you can help that, okay? We're gonna count off in Cantonese again, one, two, three. So follow along, here we go. Left, yet ye some front, yet ye some right, yet ye some back, yet ye some left, yet ye some front, yet ye some right, yet ye some back, yet ye some left, yet ye some front, yet ye some right, yet ye some back, yet ye some left, yet ye some front, yet E some right, yet E some back, yet E some left, yet E some front, yet E some right, yet E some and back, yet E some. Slowly roll up, pull your shoulders back. All right. Okay, next part of this is just another semi cool down, a leg, uh, leg stretch. It's a hamstring stretch. We can start with our right leg. Go ahead and just bring your left leg bent like so, sole your foot against your hamstring. Try not to lift your knee up off the uh, mat, keep it down. And if you don't have the flexibility, that's okay. If you're here, you're here. And just try to keep reaching for your toes until you can get to that point where you can reach your toes even further. 
and just stretch. And we'll hold this for about 30 seconds. Just relax, breathe nice and easy, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Very steady, okay? Nothing quick. There you go. Okay, slowly release. Go ahead and put your left leg out. Tuck in your right leg and stretch. And just breathe and relax. Okay, get ready to just release. Very good. All right, now get ready for again for leg lifts. Remember to protect the small of your back. Put your hands right uh, underneath your tailbone there. Keep your knees slightly bent. You bay. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and 50. <laughs> you guys are doing awesome. The last part of this right now, we're just gonna go ahead and do push-ups. And remember, like all the rest of these exercises, I just want you to go at your own pace and I want you to do them with quality, not quantity. And so again, if you only can do two, three, four, five good leg lifts, do that. Uh, same thing with push-ups, sit-ups. Oh, I also forgot to mention, if you wanna do your leg lifts uh, and you can't do two at a time right now, you can always just do one. Do the same thing. Just go ahead and protect the small of your back. Just bend one knee and just come up. Just like that, bring it out, one at a time. And just follow along and do it that way, okay? So that's all you gotta do. All right, but let's work on our push-up. Finish that up. We're gonna do, if you can follow along, we'll just do 20 good push-ups. And you can do it with open hand, do it on your fingers, you can do it on your fist. I'm gonna go ahead and just do it with open palm. Make sure you're in a good plank position. I don't want you cheating, sticking your butt up. Notice my body's nice and straight. I've got a pretty good foot platform as well. And you bay, one, two, go down all the way, touch your nose, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. All right, and let's stretch that out. The way you'll do that, let's go ahead and just 
Sit back on your heels for a second there. Get a nice posture again, and then just reach out. Try to keep your butt on your heels. Now feel your back muscles stretching out as you reach your fingers to the opposite wall. And just relax. Doing good, just relax. Okay, come up. All right, so this concludes the uh, introduction of the uh, Jun Fan School JKD workout. I'll do another video down the road and that will show you how we just do this exercise consecutively for 45 minutes or so. And um, we'll actually go through an, the entire sequence. And if you just do this now, you'll start to get ready when we do that entire sequence, because you'll have um, four sets of 60 sit-ups and four sets of 60 um, leg lifts. And so, you know, that's a lot right there, 240, right? So anyway, uh, I'll look forward to showing that to you and having you follow along with that. Thanks again for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, see ya.